Oo. Kailangan mag-argumento ng konti. Ay, 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 kaya, 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 kaya. Sa'yo na nagpaan. Yes, yes, your honor. <laughs> Eto na. Umpisa ang ating second quarter action. Willie the Thriller Miller on this Thriller Friday. Ayan, pinasok na ni Coach Junel. So let's see what Willie can give against his former team. One of his former team, Alaska Aces. Pinagtagal din si Willie Miller. Naglalaro dyan. At yun, nagparanig agad. Tres mula kay Thriller Miller. You know, Willie Miller has really been working hard. You know, kahit sa mga ibang previous games nila, I always see him in the gym. Always working extra hard, lifting weights, even doing a lot of time on the treadmill, getting his time to prepare for every game. A steal. Aguilar, up ahead to Linganay. There are three red shirts. Sa challenge si Linganay. Mintis. At hindi nila nakuha ang rebound. RJ Yusul going the other way. Two on two ito. Bringing up the rear. Aldrich Ramos jumpers. Yan yeah, from 18. You know, grabe yung kampiyansya ni Aldrich Ramos of the transition. He actually took it from 15 foot, uh, 15 foot line. Alam na alam naman niya kasi nandun na yung defense ng shaded area. Siya ay libre naman siya from 15 feet away. Nag-double pa nga ng konti. Pero alam naman natin, ever since he's a few days, he has that outside shot. In fact, he's one of the sweetest shooting guys of that height in recent years. Ang malaking bagay kasi Charlie talaga yung for all the big men uh, with the loss. Tapos you don't like to ano ah, to develop bad habits in, in a game like this. So, ah, ako, sa amin yaman, partner. Ito si Calvin Abueva going strong all the way to the basket. Alam mo maganda ron? Yung tumatakbo para sa Alaska Aces, Ramos, Abueva, at saka Eman, yung big front line nila, sila pa yung, sila pa yung nag-pass break eh. Di ba? Walang guardian na nagdala doon. Tapos may pang-inis pa si The Beast dito kay Marky. Kasi so, kanina pa naging inisan yung dalawang yan. <laughs> Pinanonood ko kanina pa. Miller on the great spin. Bitin ang kanyang tira. Abueva missed time to jump pero nakuha pa rin yung rebound Lamang ng limang Alaska 10 minutes and 12 seconds remaining Tumama sa paan ni RJ Azul ang bola That's gonna be a third Ito si John Dan Salvador John Dan Salvador, isa pa yan Ang ganda na pinakita niya especially on the board In this conference, ako niya Sam Eman Ganay Straight to the basket, hindi na sara. Yung pinto went between two defenders for that layup. But Rudy Lingane is always uh, ready to provide, uh, you know, firepower to his team. You know, for Barangay Ginebra, alam mo, their little men are actually contributing, but dito naman sa Global Court, ganun din yung, ano, yung story. And there's always like a little man on your uh, on your team, on your roster, na kahit pa paano naman, eh, nakaka-contribute like a big guy as well. But speaking of big guys, yan si Japit Aguilar. Sinupalpal si Calvin Abueva. We're at the Big Dome. Ating uh, smart Araneta Coliseum. Uh, well, speaking of, di ba sabi nga ito, weekend basketball na. May mga games pa tayo this weekend. Dalawang na update day, Saturday at saka Sunday. Pero yun, sa colocation na magagawin yung mga laro natin. Talk about that later. And we'll flash the schedule para sa inyong lahat. Thriller Miller. Going to John. That's six seconds na lang sa shot clock. Tumira ng tres si Willie. In and out. Chance for some bench guys to get some more playing time. Sabi ko nga. This is their chance. Uh, kahit pa paano, they should uh, be ready. Uh, kahit pa paano, gusto mong makita what they can do. And you can actually look forward to the next conference. Samantalang on Alaska naman, gusto mong makita kung sino talaga dito yung pwede mong gamitin in the playoffs. Lalo, lalo na, you know, it's good to also give some break or rest to your starters para nga mabigyan mo ng minuti yung mga second unit. Uh, wala nang oras ang Alaska Aces. Dati, kilala-kilala ang Alaska, Eric, sa triangle offense. Ngayon, kilala-kilala siya sa conference ito, sa depensa. So there's a D in Alaska right now. They're playing tough defense, leading the league, holding opponents to the lowest score, 78 points a ball game. And, uh, well, that's translating into victory. Well, you know, we, you know nga, Charlie, we're actually looking at the stats kanina. No? Itong Alaska is a uh, field goal story pa lang, uh, global fourth, uh, right there. Um, you know, Alaska actually, kung titignan na yung sa stats kanina, hindi naman talaga sila like number one in different categories. Of course, yung, uh, yung uh, points against, you know, they're actually uh, preventing, they're actually number one in defense in the league. Uh, but the beauty about it is, they're actually not actually lording it over sa rebounds or even sa blocks, pero kahit just staying in front of the guy, making it tough for the opposing team to make the shot, that's what counts the most. I mean, you don't really see that uh, in, the, in the statistics, but of course, kung makikita mo naman at the end of the game, the final score, that's recess. 
Pag-aaral mo Eric yung laro nila But they're hustling on defense Ibig sabihin They run to the man They challenge outside shots Tapos eh, yung bakbakan sa rebound Lagi sila na Especially this guy Kabe na buhay ba Ngayon Nakakuha naman ng easy two inside Alam mo Pag pag-uusapan mga depensa Sasabihin mo kagad Defensive rebounds Hindi sila number one sa defensive rebounds Hindi rin naman sila number one sa blocks Or sa steals Pero yun nga eh The total output of the team But yun ang titignan ng Nina the viewers Would have to pay attention What is the result Like Fact, yung sa tatlong talo nga nila, baba pa rin ang score ng kalaba nila. Nakataon lang, kaupensa sila na hirapan kaya natalo sila. So they didn't let another team go crazy on offense against them. So consistent ang kanilang depensa. And they're able to prevent Global Court from scoring once again. Ito si RJ Hazul, maatake na naman ng Red Shirts ng Alaska. Tony De La Cruz handing it over to Abueva. The hook doesn't go. AJ Mandani. Isa pang back-up pointer na nagpapakitang gilis rin dito sa konferensya nito. As we see, Willie Miller! Great Willie Miller. Deceptively quick. Despite yung medyo malaking build niya. Yan ang sinasabi ng lahat ever since. Bakit yan ang kabilis kumilos itong mga magto? Well, he's been doing it for years. He's a two-time MVP sa ating liga. And multi-awarded dito sa PBA. Azul, open from three. Top of the key. Wala yan, rebound play. Espinas keeps it alive. If Abueva finishes the job. That's a specialty of Calvin Abueva. He gets a lot of offensive rebounds and putbacks. Gary David. Leading local scorer para sa global court. Ito si Gary David with over 21 points in the whole game. Bumaba kay Japit Aguilar. Bago umangas si Sol Mercado. Nabanggit natin, hindi mga kalaro ngayon. Alamin natin kung bakit mula kay Erika. Game pa lang pala ng eliminations when Saul's shoulder started hurting and inilaban na lang niya ang sakit when he continued playing but he was advised by Dr. Canlas not to play anymore and he's just spending time doing rehab and might not attend the All-Stars. In that uh, collision, maganda na nga yung mga trainers ng Alaska Aces attending si Gus and si Mike, they're actually attending to him making sure that the base is actually ready to go back to action. Kaya pinasok naman ng veteranong si Eddie Laure na tumira mula sa labas almost goes in ang kaliwete na nasa lineup ng Alaska Aces aside from Gabby Espinas ito si uh, Eddie Laure the veteran former MVP sa Metropolitan na basketball Bondan Salvador hits it from the side to cut the lead down to just four ngayon may report naman tungkol kay Calvin Agueva si Eric on his rookie year marami na pinagdana rin si Calvin Agueva maraming criticisms praises marami na rin malalakas na tama sa bawat laro at nakita nga natin spray na yan ang kanyang lower back kasama na rin ang kanyang left knee na sumasakit before the game but he claims that his resiliency physically and emotionally ang pinaka pinangahawakan niya para ipagpatuloy ang magandang kinagawa para sa tagumpay ng Alaska balik sa inyo ano ba yung playing style ni Calvin Agueva Eric I'm sure you know this he's all out all the time for the aces eh syempre kahit pa paano mabubugbog ka talaga sa dinami dami ng malalaki na talagang sinasagupa ni The Beast. E gano'n naman ang laro niya kahit kung nasa baste pa siya eh. So, kumbaga matagal-tagal na niyang ginagawa yung ganyang klaseng style. Of course, the opponents were smaller. But the, you know, the impact every time you hit the floor. Eh, di ba? Masakit. Kahit luki siya dito, matagal na niyang ginagawa yung ganyang style na laro. But we're hoping it's nothing serious that he might get up and get back into the ball game or at least be well enough to play in the playoffs. Especially since the lower back, Charlie, siyempre, hindi naman gusto rin ni Coach Luigi Trillo na mahirapan siyang gamiti si The Beast in the quarterfinal round. Good matchup in the post. Aguilar contra Espinas and Aguilar wins that battle. You know, bihira ko makita si Jaffet Aguilar going to the post. Normally, he's a great perimeter player in hitting those jumpers. But in that last play, he actually showed to us that he has great pivot moves. Eddie Laure, attempt from the right side, Walayan, trying to keep the ball alive, the aces, and they do it, Osi Espinas, two fakes and a basket. You know, even if you're gifted with athletic ability, if you don't box out, the basic thing in basketball, especially if you're in the defensive lane, you really have to box out and get good position, because if not, guys like Gabby Espinas and even Eddie Laure can really out-rebound him. Ito si Belenchon, another rookie, came over from the Meralto Bolts in the Sol Mercado trade. Mandani, Nothing but air during the three-point attempt. Na yon. Balik si Dozier. Tagal na kaupo si Dozier, but they were able to maintain that lead. So now he comes back in. Albert Ramos ang pinaupo. Coach Luigi. 
Spinas inside the Dozier. And Dozier. That's always a consideration, especially nowadays. Diba? Sa mga imports, you know. Hindi ko alam kung kasama yun sa criteria dati when uh, yung mga panahon mo, partner. Nandito ka sa PBA. Kung ikasama yun, eh, diba? Tatanong mo kung Nick, nung panahon ko, kailangan may topak. Kailangan may topak. Oh, kailangan basta magaling. Oh. Hindi na importante. Di ba alin yung topak? Oh, wala lang sa kalang. Wala lang sa kalang. <laughs> drive. Gary D. You have to throw it out to Belenson. Three seconds to go. Mandani. White left on Tira. Morgan with the putback. It's a great ball movement there by Global Port. Although, hindi nakuha yung uh, shot ng Mandani. Nandun naman si Sly Morgan to finish that basket. Don't don't. Those are going up, losing it. No call. Ito tomatak mo white shirts. Gary D stop and pop three. So yan. Gary D made the three. No. Nasa kanan. And uh, they bring you the uh, the game on the airwaves. So if you gotta leave your TV right now, I don't know if I can get Eric. Eh, pwede kayo mahalin mo na. Oh, oh, Tutuloy ang ligaya sa radyo, lalo na lalo na pag-traffic ng mga 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 mga. Of course, TCSR 9.8 with radio coverage sa TV. Eh, malapit na malapit sa mga puso natin, Eric. Of course. Sa tayo nag-umpisa. Eh, Siyempre naman. Di ba? Uh, At nandiyan ka pa rin. Uh, we're actually having so much fun doing the radio coverage as well. Ito si John Dan. The lefty. Hook shot. A bunch of lefties in this ball game. Nakapansin ko lang yan. Ano? In fact, uh, it was a time when it's Alaska is to actually put five players on the floor in the Alouette a few years ago. <laughs> you know, it's actually very hard to defend against a left-handed shooter because Eddie Laure, you know, missing that shot. But also, oh, 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 oh. it's like a pagkakasupal pa lang. Another lefty oh. actually blocked the chest by Morgan. Oh. And he's able to get... ...schools in Atlanta. Southwest Decab, si Sly, at sa Laytonia naman si Robert. Although hindi sila nag-abot dahil Robert was a couple of batches lower, it's exciting to know at least halfway around the world, nagtagpo sila professionally and have the chance to play against each other here in the Philippines. Balik sa inyo. Ano mga Georgia boys yung dalawang yan eh. Si uh, Morgan at si Rob Dozier. But of course, si Rob Dozier, uh, Eric, naglaro yan sa Memphis University. Derek Rose lang naman naging teammate niya. Oh. Di ba? Yan lang naman. Taka si Chris Douglas Yung Roberts. Natin, pero nakakatuwa pa rin yan because, you know, from all, all the way out there, rival schools pala, tapos magkakatagpo. So, of course, hindi sila same age level, but kahit pa paano, you still have that school spirit. You know, every time you can turn it, we always look, uh, look back to. Turn around jumper ni Sly Morgan off the glass. Pasok yun. Oh nga, uh, mas senior. Ito si Sly Morgan. He's uh, the right age of 30. As a basketball player, medyo paangat na yun. Si Rob Dozier is at his prime. 27 years old yan. So, Kalakasan pa oh. talaga ng uh, katawan. Tsaka yung flicks yun yan. Gets it inside. At yun naman. Minti Santira. He cuts behind the guy. So pag nagkamali ka talaga ng position mo and you do not be between the man and the ball, you will actually miss him and he will get a good position for his shot. Parang sneaky rin siya sa ilalim. Sneaky. Ito, no? Pag alaw ka alam from side to side. Ang, 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 ang bilis na makita kung, di ka, kung nakatanga ka sa defensa, talagang kakatanga ka na agad. May point attempt ni Gary D. Natamaan niyo rin. Here in the free throw range. Even the parking lot, partner. Actually, I was... Kailangan tumira mula doon. I was just trying to delay it kasi baka sumabla magics ko na naman yung free throw ni Gary to beat it. Kaya pinagalang ko yung sinasabi ko. Okay. Madalas mangyari sa atin yung mga ganyan. Pag tinuri mo yung... Free throw shoot. Turn you from three point range. Hindi mo talaga pwedeng pasa pasa bibigyan mo siya ng uh, that much space. So the thin line between playing good defense and going over that line is ang hirap nun eh. That's why tendency is pag magaling talaga yung ano, player shooting that shot, magigil ka ng konting konti lang, you will commit a silly ball. Pwede ka matisglasa eh. The Deutschmann from three. Pasok yan para kay Jason Deutschmann. Finally, mid daylight ng konti si Deutschmann. Kahina pag sinusubukan niya pumasok sa lane, Eric, nasusukalkal siya. Well, you know, he is actually now, he, lalo na nakaisa na siyang uh, shot from the outside. Tatasa na bigla yung kanyang kumpiyansa. Seven seconds left in the first half. Let's see what Alaska can do. Dozer to Manga. Three seconds to go. Labas kay Don Don. Kicks it over to Velasco. Unselfish play. Pero hindi tumasok ang jumper ni Nick.